we're here today to say that we need a balanced approach that looks at closing corporate loopholes, that looks at um, eliminating some of the tax cuts, and that we really um, cannot just solve the problem by cutting programs like Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. And I work at, at Paraquad, and so we know people with disabilities who, for whom Medicaid provides their personal attendance services and lets them live independently in the community instead of a more expensive nursing home. And I'm just going to reinforce what uh, Kirsten said, because out of all the people I, I talk to, and I talk to a lot across the state, um, there is such a dread and a, and a concern over the taxes and where we are going to leave our most vulnerable of our people. And I, I just, I'd like to say that 15 times now, I'm going to say it again. You know, where are we going to leave the most vulnerable of our people and what kind of a society are we when we choose um, to let them suffer like they are? Last sentence, and even though I represent um, seniors and retired individuals, one in four of our children in Missouri is going to bed at night hungry. I'll leave it like that. That's hard to deal with. Uh, and just people uh, with lower income and, and, and elderly disabled, uh, poor fo folks who don't earn a lot of money, uh, would stand to lose a great deal from these cuts. We just see it all the time. And these, and what I'm impressed with with these folks, this population, is they they really want to help themselves. I mean, there's always the, the few that don't, and, and it, we know, I know that, and I've run into them. But most of them really want to make their lives better and, and help themselves. They, if, if they can get some help to help themselves, they'll do it. I believe that. I really believe in that. What kind of services do you guys offer in the to at the those, church? Yeah, for those well, people that are church, meeting that. that yeah, support. yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we have a food pantry and a thrift shop uh, there at the church. Have that, have had that for a long time since the seventies. Um, we have uh, uh, we house a, a GED program, and that that is something that's. We get calls about GED all the time, all the time. Hardly our secretary says hardly a day goes by that somebody doesn't call up and say, "I want to sign up for GED." We would like to set up a meeting with Senator Blunt if we could. We'd like to do that if that's possible. You know, and we don't know, we don't necessarily know his schedule of when he will be in town. We'd be happy to try to set that up for you when we know, um, we usually know a couple of weeks in advance. Sometimes it's less, hopefully it's more. Um, and so we can definitely try to do that when we know when he'll be in town. We'd like to talk with him if possible while all of this is going on as we speak in Washington. Uh, so well, that's, that's why possible. I think it is helpful that you have this. I can yeah. send exactly what you're saying to yeah, a website yeah. and let them see that yeah. directly. Okay. Uh, but, it, you know, if that. he is around the, when this is going on, if he comes back into town and we can set something up, we'll do that. Should we?